Amid this record surge, Vancouver Public Schools have decided to bring students back into the classroom next month. And that very decision comes after school board members learned a large number of students are failing their classes. We go to our Jenny Young, who is working on this story tonight. And Jenny, so the district will start by bringing certain groups back first. And what did you learn about that process? Well, Elizabeth, we learned that those will be at risk students, K through 12 students who are having trouble navigating online learning and just feel overwhelmed. They will be allowed back in the classroom starting the first week of January. I don't think it's a surprise for anybody here to, to hear that our students are struggling. During a board meeting Tuesday night, elementary, middle school and high school principals from campuses across Vancouver Public Schools presented a plan for bringing academically vulnerable students back into the classroom. We'll be offering four sessions throughout the week um, aligned to that hybrid learning schedule. So kids will either attend Monday, Tuesday or Thursday, Friday. The board made the decision to push ahead with in-person learning last week after hearing 40% of high school students received at least one failing grade. That's 18% higher than last year. Vancouver parent Michelle Barker wasn't surprised by the data. Okay, it's not just my imagination. They're suffering. Barker is part of a group called United for In-Person Learning in Clark County. She appreciates what the district is doing to help at risk students, but says it's time for all students to be back in the classroom. Their plan to bring kids back is unfortunately, I don't, I don't feel like it's quick enough and I don't feel like it's broad enough. I think it's important that we have our voices heard and kind of light a fire under them to make sure that they do what they say and they, they bring them back quicker. Now, she told me that she doesn't necessarily think that full time is the best decision, but even bringing students back, all students back just a few hours a week would help families and students who are struggling. The district says they do have a tentative plan to bring first and second graders back starting in February. Now that group that Michelle is a part of is having a rally at district offices across Vancouver on Thursday at noon. For more information about that, you can go to coin.com. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.